all right good morning everybody happy sunday um again if you're watching this on sundays that means you're watching it either on um, our rv and um, travel channel or you're watching it on my personal channel and no matter where you're watching i appreciate you watching it but if you want to watch these devotions every single day you need to subscribe to my personal channel and there's a link in the description below and also be a link in a card up here towards the end of this video <clears throat> so either way i thank you guys for watching so where i'm standing today is um, tabby ruins if you don't know what tabby is tabby is basically concrete made with oyster shells and this is an old sugar mill um so this is where I, this is where i chose to do this because this is pretty cool um from the late 1700s early 1800s i think this was built so our topic from today.refrainmedia.com is tears and gentle kindness and we're going to be reading matthew chapter 5 verses 4 and 5 from the english standard version of the bible let's get right at it blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth mourning is a blessing meekness a blessing wouldn't life be happier if we could avoid mourning and meekness no two of the strongest toxins in our hearts are the urge to pass judgment on others and the drive to control others jesus invites us to put those toxins to death through mourning and being meek do you see brokenness struggle and messiness in people's lives does that activate your judgment trigger Try mourning instead, says Jesus. Sit by someone who is hurting and weep with them. Judgment isolates and excludes. Mourning together can build a deep spiritual bond. Mourn with those who mourn, according to Romans 12, 15. If you can recall a time when someone wept with you, you know that it was a beautiful gift. Do you see someone acting in a way that doesn't fit your agenda? Or do you feel a desire to control them? Just let it go, says Jesus. Walk with them in a way that is meek, gentle, patient, and kind. Years ago, I met a woman consumed with anger for God and his people. One night, she surrendered her life to Christ, and I asked her the next day what had happened. And she said, someone I had not met before pulled my entire life story out of me. And when I was done, I began to weep. And that person wept with me and invited her to ask Jesus into her heart. And that's the power of tears shed in meekness. What a blessing that is. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for the gifts of shared tears and meekness. Cleanse me of sinful anger and power hungers that I may help to bless others. Amen. Let's go on a walk. Not only am I surrounded by these pretty awesome walls, I'm going to turn around here kind of fast look at the trees look at all this look at all this around me now ask yourself especially in these days of social media everything going on in the world today um, you know with um, protests riots um, the upcoming presidential election and everybody's an expert on everything if you go to Facebook or any other social media site so are we really, really, really winning souls or laying the seeds to win souls to Christ when we just act in judgment? Think about that. How many times have you personally been swayed because somebody belittled you, made fun of you, or just outright called you, you know, stupid for your point of view and your opinion? When's the last time that somebody did that to you and you said, oh, you know what? You're right. It doesn't happen very often, folks. So if you want to win people to your point of view, if you want to win souls to Christ, if you want to, people to understand what, you know, living for a God who is not dead and who blesses us every minute of every day, you've got to show them that blessing. And you can't show them that blessing without meekness and without mourning. I mean, I never really thought about it until this devotion, but you've, you've got to look at it like that. I mean, you've got, when you, when you make that connection, when you, when you put your arm around somebody and you cry with the person, or when you um, 
celebrate with that person. You know, a connection is made. When you put down a person, when you make fun of a person, when you ridicule a person, a connection is severed. And sometimes that connection is severed forever. So, what good is it? What, what are you accomplishing? Do you make yourself feel better? And that's what a lot of people do. They make themselves feel better by making other people feel worse. So that doesn't work. That's not how the world sh should work. That's how the sinful world works. But that is not how the world of Jesus Christ works. So get out of the world. Get into Jesus. Share that love that he has given you with others. Share your life. Share your troubles. Share your joys with those around you and allow them to share those with you. Again, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more of these every day and some other things we got coming up, the link should be popping up right now if it hadn't already. My personal channel, it's in the description below as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts, comments. If you have any prayer requests or praise reports, put those in the comments as well. Or you can always reach out to us via email, or you can give us a call, and all our contact information is in the um, description below. Thank you guys for watching, and um, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Love you guys. Bye.